Hello, hello. All right, let's go ahead and get started in a child's pose, make your way there. My name is Bianca. I'll be guiding you through your practice. Thank you for showing up to your mat. Once you rest in your child's pose, just let out a big exhale through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Audible exhale. Good. Feel a sense of arrival. You're coming into your space. Whatever kind of sounds or lack of sounds around you, movement, other people, just allow yourself to create a little cocoon of relaxation. Check in with yourself today. Check in with your body, your mind, your energy level. And then as you breathe here in your child's pose, just give yourself lots of compassion and kindness. Just every day showing up for yourself, whether it's at work, your relationships, your family, your friends. And then feeling free to take this dedicated time just for you. And just a few more breaths in your child's pose, perhaps breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe even rolling your forehead side to side, massaging the forehead onto the mat, feeling the gaze shift from left to right. And in these next few moments, just allow your hips to really settle. Feel the opening of the hips, the inner thighs. Feel your hips sinking back as your arms stretch out long. Very good. Inhale, rise up to tabletop. Find all fours. Parallel your shins. Inhale, lift your chest and your tail for cow. Exhale, round yourself for cat pose. Keep moving with your own breath. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Exaggerate the movement. Exhale, round. Exaggerate your breath. Feeling your openness through the chest, the spine. Beautiful, Leslie. Really iron out any tension. Involve your neck in the movements. Feel free to circle, sway side to side, move your hips around. From here, inhale, shift forward to your seal pose. Transfer onto the thighs, lift the chest, lift the feet. Feel the opening through the front line of the body. And then exhale to a modified puppy pose, or rather just regular puppy pose. You can tuck your toes to make it a bit nicer. And we'll shift through that again. Inhale through your seal pose, walk your hands back, lift your chest big movements here. Exhale to your puppy pose. Walk the hands forward. Good. One more each time. Inhale through your seal pose. Walk the hands closer to you. Lift the chest. And then exhale. Final one for puppy pose. Outstretch the arms. Keep your hips above your knees. Really good. Inhale. Regular tabletop and then tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back and then just breathe there. So a few more breaths in your down dog. Pedaling out one knee and the other. Feeling out your glutes, your low back, your chest. Send your arms to be straight and long. Wrap your triceps in and back. Allow the inner elbows to point towards each other or a little bit to the front. And then see if you can flip your tailbone up slightly. 
allowing your hamstrings that extra stretch. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk to the middle of your space. The next inhale, halfway lift hands to your thighs or shins. On the exhale, fold all the way down to your forward fold here. Bend your knees, straighten the legs, any amount of movement, sway side to side, or you can just let your torso hang heavy over the legs, anything that feels right to you. In the forward folds, I allow you, I invite you to deepen the breath. Also invite you to hug the navel up and in, leaning some more weight into the toes, keep lifting up in the glutes here. Beautiful, Josh. All right, everyone, hands to hips. Uncurl your spine, slowly rise. And exhale, hands to the low back. Find a back bend here. Press the chest forward. Pull the elbows back in space. Little breaths here. Let the hips be the furthest point if you can. And then exhale, lower all the way down to your forward fold. This time interlace the hands behind you. Be kind to your joints. Bend those elbows, bend your knees. Nice. Keep leaning over like you're trying to lift your hips above your toes. Nice. Hands to shins now. Halfway lift. And then exhale to plank pose. Step back. Step your feet hips with distance if they're not, not already. Take a moment here. And then inhale, shift forward onto the tippy toes. Find your furthest point of your, the crown of the head. And then exhale, shift the heels back. Still in plank, so your hips stay level the whole time. Inhale, shift all the way forward to the tippy toes. Reach, and then exhale all the way back. So working your core, working your arms. Inhale, shift all the way forward, breathe in. Exhale, shift all the way back. You got two more. Inhale, all the way forward. Exhale, pull back. One last. Inhale, forward. And then this time, Chaturanga. Inhale to your upward facing or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. You can always take that on your knees. Inhale, full breath. And then exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach, look forward, bend the knees, step to the middle. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. We'll add on. Inhale, reach the arms high. And exhale, open chest, back bend, elbows pull back. Inhale, center. And then take a side bend to the right, keep the arms separated. Let's use that core. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Good. Inhale up and exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. If you're jumping back, make sure you land with your bent elbows. Inhale to your upward facing dog. And then exhale, down dog. Nice, Kelsey. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, hop. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, slow down, inhale. Exhale, open chest, back bend. Inhale, reach. Side bend to the left, separate those arms, use your obliques. Inhale up and then to the right. Good, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back, mindful of your joints here. Good form with the chaturangas, inhale, up dog and exhale, downward dog. Hold strong here, stay in your down dog. If you're feeling really warmed up already, you can go straight into your dolphin pose. It's early in class, so just listen to the body. Good, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Good. Inhale, right leg up. And then right knee to left tricep. Hold it here. Stay strong. Strengthen the right arm. Good. Inhale, right leg high. And then open up that knee. Just let the 
leg scorpion and bend over the hip. And then exhale, find your down dog. If you need a break, lower the knees. Otherwise, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, up. So strong in the core. Exhale, round and curl, knee to chest or nose. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, hold it here. Power up the core, power up the arms. Nice. Good, Parker. Inhale, left leg up. And bend that left knee. Let the hip open up. Let the knee lift higher. Nice, you guys. And exhale, lower down to your toes and then to the knees. Find child's pose. Bring the arms by your sides. Give yourself a break. Arms by your sides. Close and open your fists so that you can stretch out your wrists. We're going to add on later. And then inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Nice. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, step forward. Lower the, uh, rather stay lifted. And then inhale, right arm high to the sky. You can move your right foot to the side. Find your open twist here or low lunge twist rather. Expansive breathing. Let your, your hips stay level and then find the twist using your rib cage. Keep breathing there. Nice, Leslie. And then everyone lower the left knee, find your half split, slide your hips back. Have your fingertips past your toes if you can, past that right heel elongate the body try to relieve some of that curvature of the spine so Parker kind of lift the chest more nice you guys keep angling the hips back so you can really feel this right side stretch Apply, press the right foot on the ground tuck the left toes get ready here inhale launch up to your standing splits elevate the left leg Walk the hands forward. It could be standing L shape. Either way, just focus on your breath, focus on your core. Nice, and then the left heel comes down. Inhale, circle up, warrior one. Connect the palms if you can here. Let's allow the chest to be broad and open. So nice, you guys. Let enough space be between your feet so you can really get into the pose. Just for a moment, inhale, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, chest expansion. And exhale to your humble warrior pose. Use your core strength a lot. Use your leg strength next. Bend into that right thigh. So strong. All right, inhale, rise up, warrior one. And then exhale, plant the palms, three-legged dog, right leg lifts high. And then listen carefully, exhale to your side plank, left hand comes down, right hand goes up. Find your true variation if you can. You can also lower the left knee on the ground. Make sure you have enough space, your left hand is somewhat in front of the shoulder. Good, we'll bring it back to that low lunge twist, right foot forward. Good, right arm high. Next, left knee comes down, second half splits here. And then bend your right knee a bit, plant your right foot. Inhale, lift the left arm high, getting into the inner thigh. You should feel this. If you don't feel it, you might need to scoot back and stretch out that right leg. If you like, you can bend your right knee. It's like extended side angle, but your knee is on the ground, kind of. Yeah, there you go, Leslie. Nice, looking good. All right, plant the left palm, everyone. Tuck the left toes. Send the right leg up, shake it out. And then find your downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, step forward. Keep the right knee lifted. And inhale the left arm high. So first time on this side, just feeling out your hips, feeling out the right hip flexor, 
stretching out that right leg. <laughs> so, so good. Get low if you want or reach higher if you want. Explore a bit more depth. And then on the release, right knee comes down, find your half splits. Fingertips long here, torso long, hips reach back, hips over the right knee, and then at last thing is flex your toes here and hold. Just a few more breaths. Trying to loosen up this ham hamstring here, elongating the chest, and breathing a deep breath. Then from here, place the left foot on the ground, tuck the right toes, then inhale, step forward for your standing splits, the right leg lifts. Standing L, also an option, depending on how high you want the leg to go. Notice what it feels like to be upside down head below the heart. This is really stretching that hamstring again, finding that balance. Good, exhale, right toes all the way back. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Let your hips start to melt towards the mat as you find more depth into the left thigh, left knee. Palms reach up. Good, a little bit of a hug in the ribs. Yeah, Leslie, good. And then feel free to lunge a little bit deeper if you wish. And when you're ready, take the hands behind you, maybe create more space here with your feet. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale to your humble warrior. And perhaps not leaning as much weight into your thigh, just allowing your core and your back to be strong allowing the strength of your triceps to pull you, the strength of the left quad and the glute. Good, you guys, a few more breaths, let the head go. On the inhale, rise up back to where you're one. Then exhale, plant the palms. Tuck the right toes, step up, three-legged dog. And then from here, getting ready for your side plank. Right hand comes down, left leg is already up, and find your tree variation. Nice, oh cool, that was awesome. Keep breathing everyone. So strong in the arms, especially the core. You got it Parker, you got it Melissa. And then everyone step the left foot forward, find your open twist. Nice, we all arrived and then exhale, right knee comes down, find your half split, second visit. Just a few breaths, really working on that hamstring. And then from here, you will angle your chest over to the left side. Feel free to scoot your knee any which way. You can bend your left knee, you can keep the left leg straight, whatever you need. Think of this as a way to open up your inner thighs, your hips, your chest. Nice, exhale, plant the palms. Good, tuck the right toes, swing the left leg up. Exhale, down dog. From here, lower the knees. Stand up onto the knees, the shins, lift the arms forward. Open up the arms to be T. And then exhale, just roll the ankles, or rather the, the wrists to the side. Place your elbows onto the ground and find your dolphin pose. Option here, if you don't wanna be upside down, is forearm plank. Nice, you guys. Just allow the strength to build in the shoulders and the back, try, try to relax your traps. Feel free to walk your feet forward if that speaks to you. 
And then everyone, please lower down to your knees. We'll find cat and cows. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, round your spine for cat. This time, please flip your palms to face up. Fingertips point to your knees. Find some cat and cow movements. This is a bit much on the wrist. You can do one at a time. Good. And then slowly release the palms. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Adding on. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale right knee, right tricep. Move the hands forward if you need more space. Inhale right leg up. Right knee to your chest. Good. Inhale. Right leg up, right knee to left tricep, heel hold here, or you'll simply extend the right leg to the ground and inhale, falling star, left arm high. Think of this as a side plank, but you have more support because your feet are on the ground. Oblique strength, <laughs> arms, yes, you guys, back. And then if you want to add a bit more, bend the left knee and lift the right leg off the ground. Hold for four, three, two, Hold on, return back, right knee up. And then listen carefully, lower down to the left knee, reach the right arm high, and then the right leg back. So modified side plank. This time take a hold of the right foot, hold on with the right hand, find your balance, squeeze the heel into the glue, open up the chest. And then exhale, Downward facing dog. Nice work. Other side, inhale the left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to tricep, the right one. And then extend the leg and the right arm high. Scoot back if you need more stability. Hold strong as you are. Make sure you're evening out the weight into the palm and then bend the right knee. Lift up that left heel off the ground. Four, three, two, one. Good, three-legged dog. Right hand comes down, left leg up. And then slowly release the left toes. Right knee comes down. Open up, left arm high. And then lift hand over head, left leg back. Support yourself on your knee and then take a hold of the foot. Beautiful, you guys. Truly working the body here, opening up all angles. Hug the heel into the chest, or rather heel into the glute if you want. More quad, full breath. And then very slowly release, plant the palms. Downward facing dog, send the back. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop in the middle. Good, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. We'll take it to chair pose, inhale, rise. Sit low. Good work so far. Look for your toes here, shift the shins back. Feel free to reach the arms back if you want to relax the shoulders. Either way, focus on your breathing, let it be smooth. Nice, lower abs pull in here. So good, you guys. Inhale, reach up, stand up. And exhale, open chest back bend with the elbows pull back. Goal post, inhale, sit back to chair. And then exhale, right arm back. So find your open twist in chair pose. One option, right hand to your sacrum. Just keep breathing there. Stretching out the right shoulder blade. Another option is prayer twist to the right, left elbow to your right thigh. If you're craving arm balance, you can go into side plank. Otherwise, just keep staying here, sit lower into the heels, sit the glutes back. Focus on your breath. So good. If you're in the arm balance, come back to your twist. And then everyone stand straight up, unwind, widen your feet, exhale, forward fold to the ground. Halfway lift and lengthen. On the exhale, peace fingers around the big toes, elbows out to the sides. 
Let yourself fully fold forward here as close as you can. Nice, Josh. Good. All right, feet together. Release the palms. Inhale, chair. Feel free to send the arms back on the exhale. Find a steady gaze. You guys, your muscles are hugging into the bone. They're working very hard. Keep breathing deeply. And then inhale, arms high. On the exhale, open twist, left arm back. Try to prevent your right knee from going forward. Palms face out, thumbs up if you can. Good. And then that left hand to your sacrum. Watch out for the elbow, nothing too extreme. Then to your prayer twist. Nice, yeah, side curls if you want. Wherever you are, focus on your gaze. Make it a good one. Beautiful. Come back into your twist. Inhale, rise up to standing, straight up. Feet wide, this time hands to the low back, find your back bend. Think of this as like a camel pose prep. And then exhale, gorilla pose, re reach the chest down. Step onto the hands if you can. Otherwise, peace fingers around the big toes. This is gonna help with all the wrist work we've been doing. You can bend your elbows if you wanna get a little deeper. Good, release the palms, feet together, right back up to your chair. Exhale, hands to your heart space. On the inhale, left knee high. Reach the arms overhead, find your balance, and then exhale to a very nice figure four. Open up your hip, hands to your heart space. Take your time, no rush. Flex that left foot so you can really feel the hip. Option here to take the forearms to your shins, and perhaps fingertips down to the ground, and then also available for you is the arm balance, plant the palms, foot into your tricep, flying squirrel, flying pigeon. So whatever you're doing, make sure you're committing to your breath. Please return to your figure four. Inhale, the left knee high. Arms overhead. On the exhale, extend the leg. Hold for four, three, core in, two, one. Exhale, warrior three, four, moment. Arms back. And then let's go for that standing splits. Bend the right knee, hands to the ground, left leg up. One more breath. And exhale, left foot down, crouch and curl, round into the tiniest little ball that you can. And then option here for toe squat, toe stand, point your knees forward, reach the arms overhead, stretching out through the calves, ankles. Good, core pulls in, ribs pull in. Optional curl here, or just stay in your balance. Really powering up your entire full body that strong but flexible approach. And then everyone release right back to your chair pose, reach up. Nice, you guys. Exhale the arms back, slow it down. Inhale, right knee up. Find your balance. And then when you're ready, exhale to your figure four. Steady your gaze. That'll help you really focus. Then explore your variation, whether that's forearm to your shin, fingertips to the ground, or that flying pose. You really have to grip your foot right into that tricep. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So be patient with yourself. Either way, you're really strengthening your glutes here. Good job. Inhale the right leg high, reach it up. Once you feel balanced, squeeze the left glute, extend the right leg. 
four, lower core pulls in, three, two, beautiful, and one, warrior three. Arms back, chest lifted, ribs in. Left toes point forward if you can. Stay with it. And then bend the left knee, standing slip. Exhale, toes down, crotch and curl right back to our little hug pose. You can hold on to the shins here. Stretch out your neck, look right and left. And then our releases, our boat pose, have a seat. Lift your knees, lift your legs, maybe straighten or just stay as you are. Yes, you guys, pull the chest forward. Really compress through the core. Beautiful, stay with it, lean forward. That means lowering the leg, that's better. And then slowly release feet together, knees wide. Inhale, lift the arms, and then exhale, elbows to the knees, hands to the ground, letting yourself fold forward and a little bit of rest here. Keep breathing into the belly, to the low back. Nice, you guys. All right, let's get into our legs more. Plant the palms, a downward facing dog. Optional chaturanga here. And then exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. If you need a break, child's pose. Perfect, good timing. All right, inhale the right leg up. On the exhale, step forward. Let's rise up, warrior one. You've been here before. Perhaps you want to separate the arms. Actively stretch the left leg. Interlace your palms, please. Full breath in. On the exhale, warrior three. With your arms forward and hands interlaced. Your, your pointer finger can point forward. Use the strength. Yep. Core, balance, glutes. And then release to warrior two. Let it go. And we'll be here for quite a few breaths, letting yourself absorb the work. Refining the pose, heel to arch, open chest. Inhale, reverse warrior. The next exhale, extended side angle. Hold here. Half binds, full or extended arms. Inner thighs are working. You got it, keep breathing. Good, inhale, straighten the right leg, reach the right arm up, reverse triangle, and then exhale, strong but steady triangle pose. Feel free to bend your right knee to get there. Blocks. Find the turnout of your hips that works. Find the distance of your feet that works. And breathe as you elongate the spine forward. Nice, bend the right knee, inhale, reverse warrior. Step forward if you need. And then exhale, keep the knee bent, step forward, half moon pose, slow and steady. You can float the leg, you can hold on to the ground or a block, float the arm. If you want the most challenges, you're gonna lift and take the gaze up to the left. Nice. All right, right hand to the ground, bend the right knee. Remember earlier we did the bent knee variation on the ground, so you can do that here, taking a hold of the left foot with your left hand, if you can reach for your chapasana variation. Beautiful. 
Yes, so you have to keep a little bend in that right knee. So release, let's give that a rest. Inhale, right arm high, revolve triangle. And then exhale, hands to hips, turn toes out, sit low, goddess pose. Hands to your thighs, nice. Little bit of relief here, move your shoulders. Find your steady gaze right and left. And then from here, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold, forward fold all the way down. And then just rest. Shake your head yes, no. Maybe Skandasana, perhaps tripod headstand if you feel safe. Hands to hips, arise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm. And then listen carefully, take the hands to your hips. Make sure you're stable along the right foot. Slowly lift the left leg up and forward. Hands to hips still. Yeah, that leg's kind of heavy. All right, slide the left leg over the right for your eagle pose. And then left arm underneath. So left knee on top, left elbow on the bottom. Find your eagle. You can crouch if you want. You can stay lifted if you want. Good. So you release right back to your warrior one. Reach the arms high. And then let's all together pyramid pose. Let yourself rest. Hopefully hamstrings a lot more open than the beginning. Widen your right foot to the right. Take a few more breaths. And then from here, if you wish, you could stay or you can inhale the right arm high for your revolved triangle. Anchor your left heel to the ground. Try to turn your right hip even with the left. Listen carefully, left knee comes down, please. And then hold on to the left foot for your quad stretch. Look past your right shoulder if you can. And then exhale, plant the palm. Tuck the left toes in the right leg high. Option to flip your dog or just stay as you are. Exhale to your downward facing. So good, you guys. Then we'll lift, inhale the left leg high. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, warrior one, please. Been here before, setting it up. Find your stance. Slow down your heart rate. Try to breathe a little deeper. Good. And then if you wish, you can interlace the hands above your head, or you can take hands to heart, full inhale. On the exhale, transfer the weight to the left foot and step forward for your warrior three. Yes, try to line everything up to the midline. Good. Exhale, release to your warrior two, slowly slide back and open up the arms. Find your warrior two stance that you like. Really extend through those arms. Pull the chest back so it's in line with the hips. Good. Arms can feel fatigued at this point in the class. Just keep breathing. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then the next exhale, extended side angle. Feel your obliques elongating on the right. Yes, feel the weight of the right foot on the ground. 
find the variations that you want. Your thighs are strong, they're gonna support you. Good, inhale, reverse triangle, lift the left arm up and back. And on the exhale, triangle pose, shift. Very good. Inhale, lift, reverse, warrior. And then exhale to your half moon. Keep the left knee bent. Just tip yourself forward into the balance. Eventually your hips will stack, your arms. Maybe you can gaze to the right. Block is there, floor is there. So much oblique work here. And then left hand comes down. Feel free, bend the left knee, hold on to the right foot. Make sure you're not straining your neck, your shoulders, or anything else to make that happen. Really good. Slowly release your variations. Inhale, reverse triangle. And then take your hands to your waist as you open up the knees and the toes, heels in for your goddess pose. This time, arms open out to a T. Glutes pull in. Yes, arms up. And then sit a bit lower. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down. This time, interlace the hands. Maybe shorten the stance a little bit shorter. Also available for you is prone frog. Resting your inner knees on the ground, finding that 90 degree shape of your knees, depending on what you want to feel here. Solid work. All right, inhale, rise up, standing up, warrior two to the left. Inhale, reverse, take your hands to your hips, Transfer the weight into your left foot, please. And then very slowly lift your right knee up. It's getting all those balancing muscles and then exhale, eagle. Right leg on top, right arm underneath. Open up the space between the shoulder blades here. Try to relax your neck. Try to find a gaze that'll help you balance. If you crouched on the other side, you can do so here. All right, everyone inhale, unwind, please. Getting ready, warrior one. On the exhale, pyramid pose, well-deserved break. Let yourself go onto the forward fold. Finding space, finding release through the hamstring again. All right, getting ready, you can widen the stance. You can remain here or right palm to the ground or block. Inhale the left arm high, revolve triangle. Energy through the fingers. And then very slowly right knee comes down. Scoot it back if you need. And then take a hold of the right foot with your left hand. For your quad opening. We'll slowly gently release that. Tuck the right toe, send the left leg high. Nice job. On the you can flip your dog or simply lower down to your knees. Take your time, no rush at all. We'll wait. And then when you're on in your down dog, lower down to your thighs, have a seat, sit up tall, place one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, where we will stay up right here, just five breaths. Allowing the vibration of your body to be observed by your mind. Embracing your strength. Okay. 
welcoming everyone. Slowly release to embryo pose. Forehead comes down, arms by your side. Just giving yourself another moment before we continue. Good. Inhale, slowly rise to your tabletop. And then from here, giving you a few different options. You can take your forearm plank. You can take your headstand or you can take your pincha mayurasana. So taking this at your own pace, whatever it is you need, maybe you need to stay in child's pose, perhaps finding a wall, allowing a few minutes of play here, just letting yourself feel, be very warm, be very, you've played around with different shapes. So letting yourself build to what? Feels right. Nice, Kelsey. Wherever you are, deep breaths, slow and controlled. Nice, Melissa. Good work, Parker. Everyone keep breathing. And then slowly release to your child's pose or embryo pose. We, we got one more round, but just take a quick break. Inhale, rise. Go into your second round. Perhaps that's the other leg. Forearm plank. Pinch my rasana. Anything you wish here. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's all good. Bodies are different every day. Nice. All right, let's give it a rest. Nice work. Thank you for giving your best here. Have a seat onto your heels and take your elbows or palms back and then elbows to the ground for your hero's pose. You're not sitting in between your knees for the, or heels for this one, you're just on top of them, unless you really wanna do that. Think of this as a fish pose in the elbows. Yes, support your neck, look up. chin, rise up to the palms, and find your down dog. Now we'll get to take it to our pigeon pose. We'll start with the left leg, just changing it up. Inhale, exhale, left leg forward to your pigeon. Organize your body how you wish in this pose. And then when you feel good, we'll begin to rest. If you wish, you can point the left toes, finding an upward facing pigeon variation, whether that's holding onto the right foot or the right ankle. And our variations will slowly release, tuck the right toes, send the left leg high. Exhale to your down dog. Lovely work, right leg. Exhale to your pigeon pose. It's not an exact science, doesn't have to be perfect. Just settle in. Feel free to work your neck here. Resting onto the elbows if you want. Just relax the shoulders a bit more. And then for those of you that took the upward facing pigeon, you can point the right toes. Make sure you're comfortable. We 
breathing very slowly. Release, left toes down, right leg up. And our final pose here before laying down, knees on the ground, shin. Lift the arms high. And then take the arms in front of you, just roll the elbows and your shoulders, your wrists, trying to loosen up after all that hard work. Then take the arms back behind you, elbows, hands, find your camel, parallel your feet. Exhale, press the hips forward. And take sips of air as you gaze up. Have a seat. Hands to the ground, find a moment of rest. And on the exhale, slide the legs through and transfer yourself to the middle of your mat where you'll make your way all the way onto your back. Thanks, Kelsey. All right, lift the legs, point and flex your toes, arms by your sides. Roll ankles. Before we rest here, extend the left leg to the ground and hold on to the right ankle, maybe shin. Just giving that hamstring a gentle pull We'll take this right leg out to the side, keep the hip on the ground, hold on to the calf, outside shin area, and then exhale to your supine twist, let that leg go across the body, gaze to the right. Nice work, inhale center, legs up the wall. Point and flex the toes, notice the difference. Your right heel comes down, extend the left leg, pull towards the body. Nice, let your whole back, especially the back of your head, make sure it rests. And then exhale, leg to the left side. Right hand to hip if you want. Good, inhale, leg up, supine twist, extend. The left arm, gaze left. Inhale, both legs high again. All right, from here, we'll do a few hip lifts here just to round it out. From here, getting ready, full inhale, exhale, hips, and hip. Seven six, super tiny, four, three, last two, and one, finale, 45 degrees for the lower body, the legs, strong core, palms on the ground, relax your face, and then happy baby is your release. side to side. And then from here, if there are any other poses you need to take, you can go ahead. Otherwise, in the Inshalasana, make sure your shoulder blades are really pressed down underneath. Palms open. Asana, just really relax. Plenty breaths out. Let your whole body melt. Slowly releasing.
draw me away from your upper teeth. And then place your right hand to your belly, the left hand to your chest. to move you slowly reach that hook overhead give yourself a big stretch hug your knees into your chest and then allow yourself to roll to your right side and then all the way up to your seated pose nice parker take your time everyone and once you're seated we'll take a few neck rolls just sit up tall and then working on Releasing any last tension there. Inhale, arms high, gaze up, and then exhale, we bow forward, sealing in our practice. On my heart to yours. investing an hour for your wellness, for quieting your mind and moving your body. I hope you feel great. Um, I encourage you to drink lots of water and um, thank you for being here and have a good rest of your Wednesday. Water balloon? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, weather balloon. Bye. Bye. Weather balloon. Sorry, I thought you said water balloon. <laughs>